He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Who was that man you were arguing with? I'm trying to... Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able... Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that, that whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So where are they I headed? didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Don't know why you... Okay. Oh, sure. There'd be caps things. in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. He's not real. Does Good Spring get many visitors? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim. <laughs> unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Be careful out there. Okay, let's go fix a radio. Feeling thirsty? I fixed the radio? Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spending some... Got us... See what I can do about Ringo's situation. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go walk up there and see if he's all right. And it's all right that I help him. And when I'm done, I'll get to Prim and see what I can do there. That's oh. close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? Fuck off with that gun? <coughs> Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Did you know a man named Joe Cobb? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Okay. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help? we just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Okay, well, I'm gonna take boxing times. A doctor's bag. Why is there a bag of yeast there? Um, uh... And... Everything seems to be fine. Floors? Ah, oh, I don't have enough lockpicking skill to open up, but I'll take the Sunset Sassabrilla. It's always good. And I'm going to 
Uh, I don't know. I, th I think I have to go speak to Doc Mitchell about fixing me up. Ugh. Okay. I, I, I'm afraid I might have to spend some caps on this. I really don't want to spend any caps. <coughs> Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Don't look like nothing too serious. Suit you. Wait. Well, you're an asshole. <coughs> okay, fine then. Fuck you. Oh, wait. 332. How are you holding up? Can I get healed by a doctor? Fine. Oh, shit. I feel horrible. Okay, I don't want to talk to you right now. Okay, aid, doctor's bag. Oh, okay. Should be a lot better. My aim is steady. Let's take his hat. Fuck you. Not healing me. And look at his mailbox and take today's physician. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go talk to Sunny Smiles. Evening. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs? I'm going to need help to take on Say no more. Oh. I'm in. Cut me off. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Okay. Wow, well, okay, um... Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Okay. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. Put two... Always happy to help someone down on their luck. What are you doing now? Don't want to waste my time on dialogue too much. Hey! So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do- Can't you should help me take him. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. Okay. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Okay. Well, I'll go talk to the general store's guy. Because I can't do anything about explosives right now. You looking to buy some supplies? Supplies? Okay, uh... I need supplies to... Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. 
Sure hope it's okay. worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. I do. Take it easy. Okay. Let's go wear that. Okay. This game is... I don't know why, but it, I, I, I'm in love with this game. This game is so amazing. It's another reason why I tried so hard to get it back working. You know... Is that easy, Pete, over there? Howdy. Never mind. Okay, don't want to talk to him then until I have 25, ex 25 explosive skill. Guess I could talk to Doc Mitchell in the meantime. Ask for some extra stim packs, which I probably won't use. Well, assuming we're on hardcore right now, probably should reconsider what I just said. Gecko meat. Shove that all down my throat. Blizzard meat. Pinion nuts. Prickled pear fruit. Xander root. There we go. <coughs> healed. All nice and healed. How are you holding up? Okay, the town's about to be Seems done. like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Okay, three skin packs. You take care now. Okay. Well, I am going to... Go to the schoolhouse to see what I can do inside of there. See if I can gain any experience. Hopefully enough to take on the powder gangs. I mean enough to get dynamite to take them on. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna pull out a knife, okay. 